Guilty, not guilty. That's what a Hardin County jury is deliberating at this hour when it comes to the Charles Castle trial. Castle facing 16 felony counts related to the kidnapping of a seven year old girl back in November of last year. NBC 4's Karina Chung was in Kenton for day six of that trial. The jury deliberated for about an hour before coming back into the courtroom Monday afternoon. They didn't come with a verdict. However, they did want to see video evidence. The jury came back to view video evidence that was shown last week. Now the 12 members rewatched video, including body camera video from the morning the child went missing and surveillance video from outside the family's home the night the kidnapping happened. The jury is tasked with determining guilty or not guilty verdicts for 16 charges. One charge of possessing criminal tools was dropped before deliberations. Castle's attorney Elizabeth Smith asked the jury to examine the child's testimony and interviews as they work towards a verdict. You may think that the little details that are different throughout her multiple statements given are not important, but they are incredibly important because it shows that she's an inconsistent and unreliable narrator or storyteller. The point is the girl was steadfast and when in her interview she looked him right now and she pointed him right on there. That's not based on some fleeting moment where some guy comes over to your house one time. That's on a guy that's been there for over 60 days consistently, over six and a half, seven years of her lifetime. She knows who Charles Castle is. Again, the jury did not reach a verdict on Monday. They returned to the courtroom Tuesday at 8.30 in the morning. Local for you in Kenton, Hardin County, I'm Karina Chung, NBC4.